going to come from here. There we go. Good morning, guys. Hope you guys are having a good Sunday on this holiday weekend. We're gonna try to get some stuff done here kind of early. It's about 6.49, which is actually usually late for me, but I slept in a little bit today. But um, yeah, today we are going to start working on getting the pull light completely wired up and pulled through, which I've never done that before, but we're about to do it. And got some other projects here kind of pending. But um, out here, I'm gonna get my bag of tools ready for pulling pull light. There's already some junk in here from last time. But yeah, um, using director view on the phone, which is kind of cool because you can do like you can shoot both front and back cameras, which is neat. But um, the front camera is so close up, I hate it because you have to keep the phone far away. But yeah, let's get some tools together for this. Um, gonna need these uh, workman pliers. I'm thinking these awesome little channel locks are coming through for pulling the wire through. And I'm thinking, let's see. Yeah, this director view is crazy to keep me in focus. We got to keep it way, or in the shot, we got to keep it kind of way out here. Uh, we're going to need a lot of electrical tape to tape to tie the wires together. And I'm also thinking two zip ties. When I pulled the other wires through, um, I actually, one of the wires came off of the tape, so I'm thinking I'll put two zip ties on as well, like, like on the actual, um, electrical tape after I wired the two wires together to, to do the pull. Um, we need, um, wiring nuts as well. So I'll, I guess I'll just take all that zip ties out there. We need a few wiring nuts like these. And I'm going to switch this to non-director mode. It's driving me crazy. All right, guys, now we're back in normal shooting mode. We've got a couple of wiring nuts here. We're going to need more. Um, there's only two in there. I like these smaller ones. That. I believe that's all I got. As far as little wiring nuts inside this, my big toolbox. So we've got my other wiring nuts up here. Yep, I've got a whole pack of them in there. I'm going to grab those. And then we'll see you guys outside. Guys, we're back in the kitchen here. Remember this? I don't know if you saw my Pool Exit video when I actually ran the controller. But these are the color codes for the multi-conductor wire that I pulled. Those all have to be wired to the pool light. So... Let's head on outside and check out what we're going to be doing out there. Guys, here's the old pool light. I don't know if you guys know how these things work, but basically there is a niche inside the pool right there. The light actually goes through the niche and into down through the PVC pipe and into the, uh, into the little box over there by my pool. Um, so what we are doing today is the power is off to this light, um, so we're going to cut the cable right here and then grab the new pull light and pull the cable right through there, but i got to grab the other pull light. Be right back. we got the pull exit light here. Now when you replace these old school lights, you have to take the bulb out of the housing here, and every time you do that, you have to put a new gasket in the housing and you risk a leak and ruining an expensive bulb. The new Pulexa bulb is all self-contained. There is no real housing to leak. So that's it right there. There's the Pulexa bulb. So now we are going to cut the old bulb right at the very top of the page. Do not drop it in the water. Cable 
electrical tape this guy to the old wire and pull it right through the niche to the pool equipment box over there and do the wiring. And we're not going to drop this in the pool because I can't get in the pool. And we're going to make sure this time we have enough. Yep, there's no power to that, so there's no danger in that. Now this is very short, and it can fall in very easily. So, let's go ahead and get the new wire tied to it. Hopefully that is not too thick to go through the niche. It's going to suck if it is, because I want some overlap here. Actually, want a lot of overlap. Just electrical taping that guy to it. Hopefully, it'll fit. It's kind of thick right there. Yep, I hope that works. Start right here with another nice tight wrap. That part right there worries me where it's kind of sticking out. doesn't cause any problems. Keep going for a while here, hoping this doesn't pull out of there. on it. I hope that they're small enough to go through the pipe. wire when I pulled it through it came off but I was saved by the fact that there was extra wire pulled through there. I did lose one wire because of it which was a bummer. Got three zip ties. Boy I'm getting eaten by bugs. I'm gonna have to put bug spray on. Guys, I'm gonna go grab some bug spray. I'm getting eaten alive. All right, I went and put some bug spray on, so get destroyed by these bugs. Let's get ready to get this guy to see if that's gonna go through the pipe or not. Kind of sucks because I don't have anybody to feed the wire for me. So I'm going to. Try to get a lot of it ready here. Oh man, this thing is going to get tangled up for sure. I think it already is. Yeah, what a mess. There's already tangled up like crazy. Okay. Go 
to get the wire ready here and it's tangled. Check this out. It's going to be tangled at the end. I think. Of course, I didn't untangle it before I take it off, which is kind of dumb. I think we might be all right after this thing unravels. Yeah. Okay. Got a decent amount of it. Out. So let's head over to pool equipment box here. So here's the new pool equipment and your pool should have the same thing. There is a box here underneath that tape. Or sorry, not underneath the tape. Underneath that bag there's a electrical box which I just covered with plastic to keep the water out of it. Now there's going to be water inside this pipe because it goes to the pool light, which is underwater. Boy, those bugs got my way good already. Okay, so inside this, we have our new pool light wires right here that go to the control panel for the uh, pool controller. So they are DC. And four wires are going to be going to the pool light. Now, we first have to, and we want to make sure we don't drop that wire down in there, but we first have to get the old pool light wire out. And that is the back, the back wire, the back, this um, pipe. It is grounded right here. And I don't believe that power is on. Nope, it's not on. The light is hooked up to auxiliary one. The screwdriver is way too chunky. Got to get a smaller screwdriver. All right, got a uh, little screwdriver fit here for this guy. Oh man, is it actually smaller than that? Good grief. Wow. So this is the ground wire. The other two wires are here. They're white and black because you used to send AC to the pool light. Now we're sending DC from the controller. Now there is a little retainer here with two screws on it that's keeping the wire from falling into the hole. So we are going to remove that. I've never done that before, so I'm not real sure what how it works. It's a clamp that allows the wire to be um, secure at the top of the pipe and keeps it from falling in. So I don't know how this little device works, but we're going to find out. And do not drop the screws down the pipe. I can see that happening. That's my luck. Alright, so there's the clamp. It literally is just a little black clamp that goes around the wire and holds it in. don't think it's going to go anywhere, but now we should be able to put our trusty if this is too small I'll go get the big channel like the big uh, big pliers but I figured this can grip the wire all 
That's as small as it goes. That's not going to work. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. We're going to need our big channel locks. Went and got the big daddies. Just so we are going to start pulling and watching that other side so there's no... Uh, there's no kinks in the wires. Oh man, that is really hard to pull. Wow. That is a lot. Alright guys, I went and straightened my wire out over there. Oh man, this would be much easier if I could get directly above it. Now I've got quite a few um, bends around the T-bar so that it actually does grip. All right, we gotta get some more wire over here. Ready.
Okay, I pulled some more wire. Straightened out some more wire so that it doesn't have a difficult path. This is gonna come through any second now. Oh, maybe not. I think I hit the turn. We should be seeing the end of this. Like right now. Come on, where are you? I heard it. All right, guys. We got it. Let's get this thing unwrapped. That's cool, man. That really was difficult, but I'm just going to cut this off because it doesn't make sense to try to like untake all this. I'm gonna pull a little bit extra out and then cut it where there's no tape. I'm pleasantly surprised that that did not come off. Cut it. Maybe right here. Kitty's gone crazy here, Mr. Pink's. I said his name, he flopped on the ground. Sorry, I've been blocking the view. Um, I don't know, maybe that much. Full pull light is through. Now I need to get my wiring instructions. As I completely forgot, um, you actually want to just leave enough wire on the pull deck only so that the light can come off and lay it on the pull deck because that's a lot of wire still left over. We don't want that much slack. laid the pool light up on the pool deck and we're going to pull all this extra slack out so that we only have enough to do the wiring and then we have enough to get the pool light up on the pool deck and a little bit extra the rest the rest of the wire tucks into the niche and when you ever have to take the pool light again you can lay it up on the pool deck very still very hard to pull through. Guys are still about a good 10 feet that's got to come through here. All of a sudden it was easy again. I don't know why it's like that. It's weird. It must be like twists in the wire or something. Almost got it. That's actually fine. There's a little bit extra, but it'll fit in the niche. So I'm going to cut maybe right here. Just expensive full light wire. Maybe like back here. And 
and then take my remember the power's off I'm going to take my utility knife and try not to cut any of the wires on the inside of this sheath and I don't really have anything to work off of just cut through the insulation on the outer shell don't cut the wires hopefully I didn't like rip through the wiring with all that stress I put on the cable Workman's flyers are where? Here. So just cut off the insulation. Just like that. The rest of this wire is going to sit inside here, and then we need our wiring code. But first, I brought my wire strippers. These work well on braided wire. Yeah, I hope we didn't um, stress out this cable too much. This, the uh, some of the wires are thin. Strip back all four. Look, um, I believe red is DC power, but we've got our coloring code because the wire we pull to the controller is a different coloring code. It's a six conductor, so. Blue is going to go to blue. Easy enough. Oh, it's not stripped back here. And is that solid or copper? Solid or uh, braided. Yep. Yep, it doesn't like this stuff. The wire strippers do not like solid wire. I haven't figured out why. Oh, it is braided. Okay. It doesn't like this kind for sure. It had issues stripping that back. I'm not going to be using that. So, blue to blue here. Wiring nut. Put the wiring nut on there nice and tight. Check it. Make sure it doesn't come off. And then I'm going to wrap a bit of electrical tape around it. Just like that. Just in case. So blue to blue. Next one is green to brown. Again, this is not stripped. Get the other wires out of the way. You don't need that much of these small wiring as I did too much on the last wire. By the way, don't ever operate the pool light outside of the pool for more than 20 seconds. It'll overheat. Alright, green to brown. I just made up this code because my, just due to the fact that my new wire was a different uh, coloring code than the one. These don't work at all. Oh, I've still got the old one. Is that? Alright, it's in there good. Ooh, it's starting to suck being squatted down for that long. And where did I put my electrical tape? All my tools are in the mud. I don't need as much tape this time either. I 
wish I had a new top for this box and I could buy one place it. Next is black to orange. It's kind of a bigger wire. I'm sure this is proper power. Remember on the other end at the pool controller is where all this wiring was coded and then I wrote it all down here. So black to orange. Make sure you do this right, you'll burn up your super expensive pool light. Black to orange. I keep losing my electrical tape because it blends right in with my Put a little piece of tape on the end of that one. That one's good to go. And last, red goes to yellow. And then we will clamp the wire down. Don't really have to, but might as well. Eh, maybe I won't. It does keep you from accidentally pulling from the other end. You can't. It makes it so you don't pull it out from that side. Okay, red to yellow. And then we will test it out before we clamp the wire. Red to yellow. Mr. Binks came by again. Hey, Mr. Binks. Hey, buddy. Okay. This thing is wired up, guys. So... Not sure how many things I have to switch on to get it working, but um, yeah, it is wired. Let me give you guys a closer look at that. So there's the completed wire. Now all we got to do is put the clamp back on right there. And this is wired up to auxiliary two here. It's probably coast is clear to remember we only have 20 seconds before the light will burn up. So we just want to quickly turn it on and make sure it works. It's quite a bit of wire there, but it doesn't matter. It all fits in the niche right there. I believe it's off here. There's actually three ways to turn this on now. There's this smart switch. This is actually a smart controller as well. And then you've got the pool uh, relay, which is also on smartphone. So let's go ahead and turn on aux one which is the pool light don't see anything yet I believe it's off at the controller we do have power let's switch it on here nothing I think power has got to come from here there we go and there's our pool light we're gonna quickly show that it's working properly and cycling and then let's get that thing turned off pool light is done now what you do is stuff the wire into that niche and then screw this into the niche and that is a project done but we need to go over here first clamp this wire down and finish up our wiring let's go ahead and turn off aux here Close our breaker and get this over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. So we got to get this box closed up, but first we need to 
clamp this wire back down. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine like that. We go ahead and tape up the AC part of it as well. Which is right here. Probably the most important part. This whole thing is protected by GSCI. The actual pool housing over there is grounded as well. And there, that ground is right here. Um, the only thing that really I was bummed about is I wasn't able to put a ground onto the controller because the wire pulled out. But here we got our clamp. And it just goes over the new wire like this to clamp it. Just sits right on top of the wire like this, but it's actually too small. It doesn't actually clamp the wire because the wire's uh, much smaller for this one. And I left my stupid screwdriver in the dirt. Yeah, this is not really doing anything. The wire's too small. Nevertheless, I'm putting them back in. I don't think it's working. So, got to remember that, never pull from that end there to pull the wire right out and then you're really screwed. Because you can't get the wire out of the pipe, you'll have to pull it back through from the pool side. And then you'll have to have a fish tape, a long one. Alright, so that is, clamp is done, now we got to get all these wires back in the box, which will be fun. So really... We just kind of, it only has three out of four screws as well. That's pretty much it. It's got a gasket on it. it must not be close to the hole there. Really need a new housing. Should have got one. This one's missing a screw. Where's my screwdriver when I need it? This will work. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. One time I need my power screwdriver. By the time I get it, I'll be done. That one's not wanting to go in. We got the second screw in. One is missing. Also, my speaker doesn't work over here. Not sure what that's about. All right, that part is wrapped up. Do some cleanup here real quick. All my tools picked up except for just one because I always miss one. Yeah, my light, my speaker does not work and my thought is it may have gotten punctured under here when they did all the paver stuff would be my guess um, unless the speaker finally just doesn't work but that one had an issue a loose wire over by the actual speaker maybe time to order two more just get it over with look at all this awesome AC wire I have left over this will be good for like any projects with AC even though it's really designed to be in a plenum with the, the actual uh, PVC pipe. So I'm going to hang on to this stuff. For sure, this is expensive. It's about, probably about $100, $100 worth of wire at least. When you order a new pool light, if you have to order extra wire, 
it can get expensive. By the way, there's the speaker wire that runs down the side of that conduit. Electrician did his best to kind of make it work, but it's kind of sloppy looking. I'm going to have to redo that. But yeah, I bet you that wire got cut underground. There's that. And guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. I just wanted you guys to get a quick look at how that worked. I'm going to save my wiring diagram forever on my phone, so in case I ever have to do anything with it. But guys, have a good Sunday. I hope you enjoy Memorial Day. We'll talk to you soon.